Red Ripper is alive and well. Plus, Noctua is releasing some... Wait, colors? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Threadripper, AMD's HDDT CPUs have been unveiled at Computex, and they're quite the doozy. We knew the Threadripper CPUs were going as high as 16 cores, but other than leaks, we didn't have much else to go on. Well, thanks to Computex, we do now. The Threadripper series of CPUs come in 9 flavors. While we don't have pricing just yet, there's plenty to be happy about. The models start at 10 cores and move up in 2 core increments all the way to that promised 16 core mark. Each CPU are comprised of 4 CCX modules with various cores on each, combined using the Infinity Fabric. Every CPU has SMT so you can expect double the logical cores. As to how the added CCX modules will affect performance is unknown, but I'd expect higher frequency RAM to possibly be more beneficial on the Threadripper line's performance. But of course, only benchmarks will tell. Each CPU comes in the XFR and non-XFR models given off by the X in the name, which are similar to the rest of the Ryzen lineup. XFR essentially adds a 200 or so MHz to the boost clock that occurs if your cooling is sufficient enough to handle the Ryzen heat. Ryzen heat. <laughs> the 10 core models come with modules split up at two 3 cores and two 2 cores, and the non-XFR model is the 1955, which definitely seems like it may end up also being called Ryzen 9. It clocks in at a 3.1 GHz base with 3.7 GHz boost, and the 1955X base clock starts at 3.6 GHz base and a 4 GHz boost, with both having a very impressive 125W TDP. Next up comes the 12-core CPUs, with somewhat of an odd stack, as this brings in three SKUs. Each of the four modules contains three cores apiece, and all have a 125W TDP. The first is a 1956 with a 3GHz base and a 3.7GHz boost, then the 1956X with a base clock of 3.2GHz and a boost of 3.8. The last of the 12 cores is the 1976X with a very respectable 3.6GHz base and 4.1GHz boost. Moving up to the 14 core and 28 thread CPUs, they have two modules with 4 cores and two with 3 cores. Starting off is the 1977 without XFR with a base clock of 3.2 GHz and a boost of 3.7. All of the 14 and 16 core CPUs come with a TDP of 155 watts with the 14 core 1977X clocked with a base of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 4 GHz. Lastly brings us to the behemoth 16 core 32 thread CPUs and oh do they have some very respectable clock speeds. For one, these are four modules with four cores apiece, and first up is the 1988 with 3.2 GHz base and a 3.6 GHz boost. The XFR version is called the 1988X and has the base clock at 3.5 with a boost of 3.9 GHz. So it certainly seems AMD brought their A-game with Threadripper, and unless they're far more expensive than I expect, it's almost guaranteed every CPU will be a fantastic deal, even when compared to Intel's newest Core X. But of course, Time will tell, and we'll find that out. Here's to hoping we can get a great price. Next up for today comes more news out of Computex. This time it looks like Noctua has... Colors? That's right. The company, very well known for their lack of color options, and at least to some not so pleasant, have introduced the Chromax Edition fans. Which are essentially remakes of their popular NFA15, NFA14, NFA12, and NFS12A case fans. But this time, they come with frames and mounting screws that you can swap out for different colors. Not only that, but they offer the same colors in cable sleeves and even a heat sink shroud. So that means you won't have to see the giant metal heat sinks staring at you through the window. They also offer colored inserts to match the rest of your cooler and build. I definitely think it's really nice to see, as I think quite a few people are put off by the current selection, but really want the fantastic offerings Noctua has. So hopefully this will be great for them. So while that ends today's news, don't forget about the giveaway for your chance to win the Aki Mechanical Keyboard, which I'll have the review for that actually up this weekend. Also, make sure to join us on the GamerMail Discord server. Lastly, what did you think of today's news? Are you excited for Threadripper? Want to cool it with Noctua's new offerings? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.